Today we're gonna go through the process of downgrading our Netgear R9000 Nighthawk X10 from running DDWRT build R40559 back to the Netgear uh, stock firmware. Just a few things that we need to get. Uh, we need to go to the Netgear website and actually download the stock firmware. So we go to netgear.com support downloads and we will put in our router model number and we will download the original firmware version that came with our router our router came with uh, the version 1.0.136 i have already downloaded that already as you can see right here and this is our stock firmware uh, version number right here. This is the image file that we'll be using to restore to our stock firmware. And also what we would need to download is a trivial file transfer uh, protocol uh, software. So I would open up a page on google.com and I would look for TFTPD64 download. You would select the first option the github link on top and we would select quick download the latest release standard edition i've already gone ahead and download that as well and this is the software here and i already installed it on my computer that would be this right here okay so now as you can see um, my netgear is running uh DDWRT um, build R40559. So what we would do is that we would need to put our router in a recovery mode. So I am going to switch it off right now and you can validate that it's actually on right now. So I'm going to take it off. I'm going to get a paper clip and to the back right there is a reset uh, button right there. So I'm actually pressing it right now and I am powering on my router. Once you power on the router, you would wait for the power indicator light, which is the one to the extreme left. It would start to blink uh, at a continuous uh, pace. You would hold down for about 10 seconds, reset button for 10 seconds, and you would let it go. So we are just waiting now for it to um, our computer to actually um, communicate and respond to it. So I'm just waiting for uh, my response to come back here now. In the meantime, I would open my TFTPD software. I would select client, TFTPD client. I would put in the host is the IP address of our router, which is 192.168.1.1. And I would select the file, the image file that I have downloaded, and I would say open. Okay, as you can see, I am now getting response, so it's waiting in recovery mode right now. So I would leave all the other information and I would just select put. And as you can see, it's actually uh, uploading our file right now. The stock file to the router. It takes no more than uh, 30 seconds or so. What it's gonna do, it's going to reboot the router once that is uploaded successfully. As you can see, it's successfully uploaded. It took about 24 seconds. Um, right now it's rebooting. As you can see, the router is currently rebooting. So we're gonna just wait for a response and then we're gonna try to log back in and we should get the stock firmware uh, page.
okay as you can see i'm getting a consistent uh, ping response but uh, this firmware is not fully loaded yet i only have a few lights on my router right now so it seems as if it uh, it came back up correctly now so let's uh, try and see if we can access the router can see it's asking us for a password so we're going to be putting in the default password which is admin and password and as you can see we're currently um, on the web page for the stock Netgear Genie um, firmware and we are on version 1.0.1.36 Okay, that's all for this video. I would like to thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I would see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.